Hello, my name is Maggie. I am a web and graphic designer from the Philadelphia area. In this video, we are going to learn how to push code to GitHub. In this video, we are going to cover GitHub as a tool to manage our web design projects. We are also going to take a look at how we go about pushing our code to GitHub. Before we go further, let's talk about GitHub. What is GitHub? GitHub is a version control system. We can work on projects and GitHub will keep track of all of the different versions of this project. We've all experienced working on projects where we have folder after folder after folder of different versions. GitHub will do this for us. GitHub is a publishing tool and a great way to collaborate with others on a project. What are the benefits of working with GitHub? GitHub is a great way to track our code base, to share and collaborate, as well as to save our process and go back to earlier points in our projects. We all have experienced or will experience when we get our project to a point where it's working really well and then we go three more steps and it no longer works. With GitHub, we have the ability to go back to that earlier version and work from there. One of the major benefits is GitHub makes it difficult to mess up our projects. Let's try it out. Shoredoor is an interactive web project on Codecademy's platform. Now that I have worked through this project, I have taken the files, the HTML, CSS, and the JavaScript file. I have created a local folder on my computer with the code. I can see the path to this project on my computer. Let's take a quick look at the project. The goal of this game is to not choose the door with the chore bot. Now I'm going to take this project, the HTML, the CSS, and the JavaScript, and push this code to a repository on GitHub. I open GitHub, I make sure that I am all logged in, and I begin by creating a new repository. I hit the plus sign and select new repository. I give my repository a name. I will name my repository Chore Door. I come to my description, which is optional, and I'm going to add a description, Codecademy Chore Door Project. My folder is set to public, and I'm going to skip adding a README file. I create my repository. My next page has a lot of really good information on how I will push my code, my project, to my GitHub repository, working with the terminal. Step two, we open the terminal. We come to step three. Here we are going to set our local project as the current directory. We type pwd. This will find and locate the present working directory. I need to change my directory. I type cd and then I specify the folder where my project is located. Next I will type ls. This will list the files that are inside of this folder. Step four, I initialize my local directory as a git repository. I type git init and hit return. In step five, I'm going to add the files in my local folder to my git repository. I am staging my files for their first commit. I type git add period. This will add all of the files inside of that folder. I am going to type git status and hit return. I will now see all of the files that I have staged for commit. Now let's commit the files from our local repository. We type git commit dash m and inside of quotation marks I type first commit. Now we need to specify the remote repository URL. So we come back to our GitHub repository quick setup page and we copy the URL. In step eight, we'll add the URL for the remote repository. We
We do this by typing the following, git remote add origin, and we paste the URL. I now can push the code in my local repository to GitHub. I type the following, git push dash u origin master. I hit return. Now I will be asked to enter my username and password. Once I have completed all of these steps, I can come back to GitHub and I can view my files inside of my repository. We have successfully pushed our code to GitHub. Over the course of this video, we took a look at how GitHub is a great way to track our code base. We also followed the steps of pushing code, pushing a project to GitHub. Thanks for watching. This was Maggie with Code Academy. Join the conversation by subscribing to the channel or dropping a comment below. If you want to take your skills to the next level, start learning on Code Academy today. Thanks so much.